The control valve analysis is available in any stream within Promax. Here underneath the analysis tab, we just choose add analysis and see the control valve analysis here. So what this is going to do for us, it's going to allow us to define what type of valve we're using and then we can either give it a valve opening and Promax will calculate what our pressure drop would be or we can do the reverse and, and specify a pressure drop and Promax will calculate the valve opening necessary to, uh, to have that pressure drop. So let's just start looking at the different properties we have here. The very first thing we'll choose is our type of valve. You can define your own valve properties so you could come down and, and give it these properties yourself if you have those available or most likely you can look through our list here and find a valve that matches what you're using. So you'll see a pretty extensive list here of different types of valves. I'm going to grab the Fisher ES where are we? An equal percentage cage valve here and that's going to open up my identifier option. We'll see the different identifiers. I'm going to use a 4 inch with a 4 inch and 3 eighths port diameter. Like I said from there I can then type in an opening say 100% and click solve and at that point Promax will calculate my pressure drop for me. If I don't want to define my opening, instead I want to know what my opening should be, I could instead type in either a pressure drop or my downstream pressure. Either one would work. Let's say we want a 20 pound drop. If I click solve, Promax calculates my opening and my valve CV for me. We have some other properties that we can see here, things like our upstream line size and our downstream line size. You could edit the defaults there. You'll see that the stream temperature and stream pressure are just the temperature and pressure of the stream itself in Promax. We have some choked properties that get calculated for us, our choked pressure drop and choked mass flow, along with our actual mass flow, which we defined in our stream. Promax will tell us what type of fluid we have going through this control valve, whether it's a liquid, a gas, a flashing liquid, two phases, etc. And it's going to tell us if we are in a non-choked flow or if we have choked flow. Some other properties are also included and this will be a good time to remind you that if you are unsure of any property definitions you can look in our help files or you can right click on any of these properties and select what's this and that will give you a definition of what these different properties mean. The last property here that I want to focus on is near the bottom with our valve body material. If we define our valve body material from the given list, Promax will then calculate for us a maximum working pressure for our valve. And so that's another useful property calculated here. There's also some tabled information for us. If we look at our tables, we'll see our valve opening versus valve CVs. Also given some choked pressure data and choked mass flow data as well. And then we can see all of this in plot form if we prefer. You see we have our opening versus CV here plotted out. And you can see those different properties plotted here as well. So this is the control valve analysis. A Simplified version of this analysis can also be used inside of a valve itself. So if I go to a valve, I'm connected to a valve downstream, so I'm going to move downstream and go to the process data section of this valve. And we can see right here that we can choose to use our pressure drop method to use a control valve. And again, choose our type and identifier. And then once again, I can either give an opening and Promax will calculate the pressure drop to use in that valve in the simulation, or I can specify what the pressure drop is and Promax will tell me what my opening and my valve CV are. And so that's also available in the valve. These are your control valve options within Promax.